tuna fishing now that's a trolling fishery where and, and but you're trolling about five knots so basically a, a strong jog almost a running speed and uh you know you, your gear stays right on the top water column and they're uh lead headed jigs with rubber skirts all bright colored uh and we pull these fast enough to where they're almost skipping on top of the water. Like I was saying, five miles an hour or thereabouts. You know, and of course these are all combed back. This color right here is called zucchini. And it's a real good color all the time. But then some of them, like this one here, has feathers in it. And this will have a, a double hook, not a treble hook, but a double hook in it. Again, barbless. So you know, we, when the fish get off, it doesn't cut them. Tuna are, you know, they're got a high metabolism, so they're, they're cruising around real fast all the time, and they're aggressive. Uh, they're fun to catch, and sometimes they come real fast when you really get into them and they're biting. And in fact, sometimes you've got to slow down and get them all iced down, because they're, they're coming on faster than you can chill them down. You know, and that takes a lot of uh, self-control because, you know, you want to just catch, catch, catch. But if you want to make sure that you have super quality fish, you know, I mean, there's limits to how fast you can catch them. That is fun. I mean, you can be 30 to 100 miles offshore and it's as close to the tropics as I've ever been. Everything's different out there. The bird life is different. You don't see regular seagulls. You see like albatross and, and different uh, species of terns and uh, uh, shearwaters. They're all pointed wing. It, like I say, it's, it's all different. Every once in a while you'll see like a, a, a sea turtle. Like I've seen one one time, I thought it was a five gallon bucket floating in the ocean. And that's just how big its head was sticking up. 